Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender. All negative energies and intent, immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, tried to steal from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is fine. Um, real quickly, <clears throat> um, so last night I had a dream. There's a gentleman that's been sent towards someone to distract you, deceive you. There's something where it's like a group of people may have been doing some type of study, trying to figure out the type of person you like. Um, there's some type of partnership you are supposed to be in, some type of relationship that they don't want you in. They don't want the masculine with you. They don't want you with the masculine. So they've been grooming or they are grooming another man to come towards you um this person when they come towards you i think there's something about like the fall because i keep seeing the three of wands in my readings and that's associated with the fall uh and then the knight of wands someone coming towards another person but it's like every time he's supposed to come they'll say wait it's not the right time which is why that three of wands is sticking out to me they're trying to, they keep telling him it's not the right time, not yet. So they're going to wait till maybe the fall time to send this man to you because they're hoping that you're going to see him as your wish fulfillment, your um, life partner, whatever this is. <clears throat> and you two are going to get into a relationship together. And all he's really there is there, there to do is to distract you and block you or stop you from getting with the person that you're actually supposed to be with. Now, in the dreams, the two people I saw... It's like the man and the woman, the new person they're sending towards you, um, new person. So they're going to send someone else before too and it didn't work out. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, so the new person they're sending towards you in the dream, you two, is that like you worked at the same place or were going to school at the same place or this person was like, they were just everywhere with you. But it's like the reason why I, 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 I felt that it was a distract, distraction, he's a distraction, it's that you, the feminine energy, you were in school for something. It's that you had to go to school physically. There's some type of sacred knowledge you are going to be learning. Um, but this man that you have, have partnered up with, you, for some reason kept, reason, kept staying with him and you kept running late for class and things like that. And when you would go to class, I think you were supposed to be like the head of your class or something. And people will be asking you for assistance. Like how it's set up in this class is like they have someone that's like the top tier students in the class or other students ask them for help. You were more than likely one of the top students in the class and the other students were reaching out to you for help and you couldn't help them because you hadn't been putting in the time to study or do anything because you were so focused on your partnership with this man. That's how I figured out that it was a distraction. He's not someone you're supposed to be with. Um, so it's rare right with caution. There could be someone that's, the man that I saw in my dream, he could be someone that's very much like obsessed with you. Like someone would like the opportunities to just be able to touch your hand. It's, it's so weird. Like you may have a few men behind the scenes that are obsessed with you. They see you as wish fulfillment. You're someone that's maybe master yourself. Um, you're someone that's very strong will, very determined, uh, very wise and very well knowing in a lot of different topics. Um, so you could have like a, mag a magician out here or someone that's a practitioner. Okay, that's working with these people behind the scenes, trying to figure out on how they can trap you, keep you stuck, keep you binded, and things like that. You may have also um, a lawyer. This this could be a community that's doing this to you or trying to do this to you. So just throw it with caution. <clears throat> I don't know if someone thinks they're going to come in, give you some type of marital proposal. You two are going to get married. Yeah, you two are going to get married, and then you'll be together forever, and then you're going to miss... 
out on your uh, relationship with the person, your higher level soulmate that you're actually supposed to be with. It's not going to go that way. Um, I don't like the woman that I picked up on. I don't think you plan on getting married this year. So if someone asks you to get married, you're probably going to say no. So there's something about these people's plan. It just keeps being foiled. Um, you may come together with the person you're supposed to be with, but you're not going to be getting married this year. Thread with caution as well, because there's a king of swords in the background of you. And I picked up on this man throughout my readings. Like when I do my reads, I'm also looking at other things that I'm not seeing. But there's a man that's obsessed with you, a king of swords. This is someone that does some type of uh, practice. Practice. He does energy harvesting. Someone may be someone may be sick behind the scenes, and him being in your energy is somewhat somehow healing for him. Obviously, because you're a star seed. Um, but this man is not someone you're supposed to even be around. It's like either someone from another community brought you to his attention. You could be living in the same community. You could be working with this person. Whatever this is, going to church, going to school. I don't know what it is, how you two are related, but there's a king of swords behind the scenes of you that's doing some type of energy harvesting. He may be trying to come up with some type of crafty way on how to get you to go around him physically. Someone may either even be like extending some type of olive branch to you now. It's not something genuine. This is a practitioner. But he's, he's on the dark side of the practice, okay? Um, and if you go in his energy, you, you're really really just there for him to do more energy harvesting, okay? Uh, there's some type of manipulation this man wants to do where it's like you end up in a relationship with him so you can he can control you uh, and he can feed off of you as much as possible, block your destinies, your options, your offers, and things like that. So just throw it with caution. This is someone that's very desperate to be around you, desperate to touch you, desperate to hear you, desperate to... I don't know, like, it's just an eerie feeling and when, it, when I see this King of Swords. It's an eerie feeling. He could even, he, he, like, even, like, sometimes when I see this man in my premonitions and my visions and things like that, he's sitting at the computer, and I guess this is the person I've been seeing repeatedly in my visions, opening different pages, websites, and things like that. There is a man behind the scenes of, of people or someone that is hacking into systems and things like that. He considers himself to be a professional. He hacks into systems and things like that. He may say, oh, I'm just looking for clues. Then nobody hire you from the legal system to look for clues. It's a karmic community that hired this person to invade people's privacy is what he's doing out here. But somehow the job he was hired to do has turned into an obsession with the feminine energy out here. So he may even be out here trying to pretend to be modest and diplomatic. I keep picking up on this man's energy. So... Just throw it with caution because this is someone that's been studying you from afar as well, trying to figure out what kind of man you like, how he needs to carry himself in order to have some type of victory or success with you. Um, but it's not going to happen because this is not someone you're supposed to be with, okay? Um, I don't, like, the, the feeling I get from me, it's just really eerie. Like, someone wants you to just be able to lay next to him or sit next to him so he can tell you what's on his mind. But, honey, it's a disappointment because that's not happening, okay? Uh, whatever is on his mind, you really don't care. He want to pour his, pour his heart out to you. You don't really care. I, honey, if you're anything like me, we don't give two Fs about your feelings, especially when we pick up on what it is you've been doing behind the scenes. We don't give two Fs about your feeling, regardless of the fact that we are star seeds, earth angels, babies, whatever you want to call us. We don't give two Fs about your feelings. Go find a karmic to talk to, okay? Or, or go find a lawyer to talk to. Because when whatever it is comes out, I see somebody getting sued and they're losing quite a lot. Someone may lose their job. Someone may lose a business. Someone, someone's going to lose like everything, Okay, because they've developed some type of obsession with a feminine energy that they were just there to watch. There's a queen of wands behind the scenes. You're going to need a lawyer. <clears throat> and what the lawyer is going to tell you to do is to cut your losses and move on because you're about to have to pay a lot of money out of pocket. You've been out. I'm telling you, maybe you're going to need a lawyer because it ain't going to end well for you. Go get you someone to talk to now because 
What you've been doing out here is stealing people's intellectual properties and pretending like it's yours. And then you had the audacity to want to take people to court for what belongs to them. Now you're out here disappointed because of what you invested in that belongs to someone else and is being balanced out. What you were trying to steal belongs to a queen, of, to, to an empress energy. And you're out here locked up or about to be locked up. You're going to have to pay, baby. You're going to have to pay for whatever it is that you've been trying to steal, whatever you've been uh, trying to tick. Um, collective, on the other hand, there is, I don't know if it's someone in the legal system that does things in the upright, may want to work with you, maybe doing something behind the scenes to protect you. It could be a lawyer, it could be a police officer, it could be someone. This man used to be in some type of relationship with a Jizzy Bell before. Um, and she's been really pissed off that he wants to leave. And somehow she thinks that he's coming towards you. So she may have gathered up the troops to come after you. So this man may be picking up, may be protecting you somehow behind the scenes and you're not aware of it. I'm not going to touch on this King of Swords very much because Laura, I know that there are light workers out here, uh, like white witches, dark white, let's focus on the white witches. There are white witches out here as people like to call them star, sea, earth, angel, babies, and things like that. Men and women that do their work uh, from behind the scenes when it comes to helping other people. I'm not going to touch on them because they don't need no problems in their life because lives, because once the dark, because once these, uh, dark workers, uh, find out that a light worker is helping another light worker, they come after them and start trying to wreak havoc in their lives. So for the light worker brothers or sisters that are helping other people from behind the scenes, which I've picked up, up picked up on in some of my readings. Thank you for being honest and dedicated to your craft in the upright. But I'm not going to be mentioning you all in my readings because I don't need you all going through anything that you don't need to be going through because you all know how these people behave out here. So do your thing, honey. Do your thing. And we're going to leave it at that. Okay. We are going to leave it at that. There's a karmic community that's very worried behind the scenes. They're still out here working together. Uh, they're hoping that the new practitioner or whatever practitioner they've hired um, has a good plan on how they can work together on taking somebody down. It may be even to send you some type of energy to have you taken out of here. They're still stuck in their minds, confused, conflicted, and everything on how things are playing out. And that's because the universe has been setting up these situations and scenarios for these people not knowing that it is set up for them to fail so everything they're doing regardless of the connections they have in the court systems the legal systems whatever kind of systems they have it's always been set up for them to fail so here they go plotting someone's ending trying to take somebody out. There is also something where it's like a community may want to come in and give you some type of offer to keep you trapped and prevent you from taking some type of new path. They could be doing this to a king of pentacles as well uh, that may be feeling trapped because he wants to take a new path, but they may be giving him some type of offer. Also, there's a feminine energy. You are going to be, you need to be careful because it's a community you used to work with they may want to come in and give you some type of offer so you can go back to them. One, it could be so that you don't end up suing them for something that they did. Or two, it's to keep you stuck, keep you blocked. So if you go back to the old community, then you don't get to step into your new abundance, your new, uh, uh you know, your new life. And this is why I typically do, yeah, be thread with caution. This is why I typically advise people to be forward moving. Um, unless like the universe clarifies it to you a hundred percent that you're supposed to go back to something or someone, I wouldn't do it. Um, because in the dream, the community I saw someone in, it's like they had went back to the past of, to a community and it was just so dry. There was no abundance. There could be a company that's about to be shut down or something like that. And maybe they think coming, having you come back into their community because you're a star seed, things are going to turn back around for them. It's not going that way. This company is about to be facing lies and lots of legal issues because of fraud, uh, some type of 
uh, scheme they've had going on behind the scenes. Uh, I said something about a Knight of Wands right here. Go to the Knight of Wands. He's coming towards you to give you some type of marital proposal, but he's waiting for the right time, right, to come in. When this man comes in to give you a proposal, maybe this is the intention behind it. It's to end you. They, they want to put an end to your strength. They want to put an end to your healing, your balanced energy, your tenacity, all of that. So thread with caution. This is someone they are grooming to come towards you so he can put an end towards you having wish fulfillment. You could be a queen of cups, okay? But the community I saw in my dream, it was just so dry and destitute. There was, you know, like when you are outside, there's trees and stuff. There should be grass and stuff around the trees, plants and everything, right? When I said it was all patchy, like you would see a patch of grass here. Maybe walk another few feet before you see another patch of uh, grass. These are people that are into like monitoring spirits. They, they use insects and bugs and things like that to monitor other people. Because I remember in the dream, um, there was like a, 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 what is it, a centipede? There was a centipede, but this centipede was very different. Somehow I could tell that the centipede was a man. It was blue. Like it was black and blue, blue highlights on the outside, on, on the outside of both, of, on the outside of the centipedes on both sides. Okay. And I remember as soon as I saw the centipede, it leaped away. I don't know since when centipedes be leaping like that. Like maybe they suck a left from the ground all the way somewhere else, probably about like a hundred feet. It leaped. And I'm just looking at, Hey, there's a cent Like I literally told someone in the, in the dream, Hey, there's a centipede leaping over here. And they just all looked at me like I was crazy, but they didn't realize that there was a whole monitoring spirit watching people. Um, but I just know this community was very dead and destitute. There was nothing going on. There was a new woman there that tried to get smart with me and I checked her immediately. Um, but for someone else, this is also symbolic of a new community you're supposed to be getting into. Like you're going to bring this community to life. Um, so what I think is happening is that there's some type of, uh, some type of mental illusion someone may be doing behind the scenes that if you take some type of opportunity, it's not going to work out for you. That's not the truth. There's a community that you're going to be st stepping into um, because there was someone either in that community that, community that didn't know what they were doing but was pretending to know what it is they were doing, may have been stealing information from other people to keep that position, but maybe they've lost that position because the truth is out. But you're going to be stepping into a company where it's like things are really dry, things are maybe falling apart, things are kind of go, going in a downward spiral. These people in this community, they feel really hopeless and things like that. And they are hoping that you coming into that community is going to bring back life, spark, uh, bring a spark back into it. Okay. It's going to be very, uh, lively again. You'll be the one to bring people together, um, where they can, you know, have like teamwork mentality, be appreciated and things like that. Also, what I picked up on is there's a woman in that community that's probably not going to want to work with you, does not like you for some reason. She may have been very loyal to the person that was there before, and she's going to try to get smart with you. You may want to check her at the front door because I remember in my dream, whoever's body I was in, like I didn't take, I didn't step out of the person's body this time to see them because I do that a lot in my reads to see who the heck it is I'm seeing things for. I didn't do it this time. The last time I did that, it turned out I was representing a Muslim woman. I freaked out for a second. I thought source was telling me that I'm going to be Muslim, a Muslim woman or a Muslim wife or something. I said, no, no hit against the, the, the religion, but you know very well, me as a Muslim woman, I get fired or I get stoned on the second day of being hired as a Muslim woman because that, that, that's not me. My mouth is too disrespectful. My mouth is too, uh, okay. I don't, I'm not saying like I'm just loose with my mouth, but I say what I had to say. Like I'm very direct with my words and I'll be damned if a man is going to tell me what I can eat, where, where I can go and all of that. Don't tell me nothing. Hush. <laughs> 
I, I'm laughing, but it's so serious. I be dung. If a man is going to tell me where I can go, what I can do, what I can say, what I can wear, a hush. That is not your place. <laughs> Anyways, there's a woman in the dream and she's giving me a piece of her mind trying to talk to me as if like she knows me or something and how she don't she don't think that like, I can do this or she don't think I know what I'm doing. I don't belong there and uh she doesn't like the energy of the place. It's just all it's all it's all a lie or something like that. Or they've been doing something for a long time. They know what they're doing. And I remember I checked her real quick and I said, you can either stay or you can go. We don't got time for your nonsense. This is a new life, new page. We're turning a new page. If you're not going to stay here and work together with us, we need you to be gone. Are you leaving or are you staying? A sister hushed up real quick. So when you get to that community, it's going to be somebody that's going to gonna have a decision to... Oh, yeah, she is going to have a decision to make, darling. Are you going to sit down and keep your mouth shut, work along with the team, build the team up so that the team can have success and turn things around? Or are you going to be out here rah, 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 rah? When you decide to rah, 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 we're going to tell you move on. Go have your tower elsewhere because we want to have a victory over here. Okay? Okay, now. Mm. Girl, listen, 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 Linda. Linda, listen, calm down. Calm down because I don't got time today, tomorrow, or any other day for your nonsense. <laughs> Whoever I was, was seeing for, baby, <laughs> she, she checked that woman. <laughs> She checked that woman in three seconds. I was clutching my in, in, uh, my spiritual pur purse in that dream. I said, gosh, darn. <laughs> that woman calmed down real quick. She said, oh, oh, uh, I, think, I, I think I made a wrong turn. You sure did. You sure did. You know better now, okay? You know better now. Anyways, collective... Yeah, I've been picking up on t uh, a dark worker and a light worker. And the light worker, baby, I know you, you gifted, gifted. You gifted, gifted. And I'm not about to keep bringing you up in this stuff because these people be, mm -mm, the nasty energy. Just be out here trying to cause havoc in people's lives and things like that. Like, honey, do your thing behind the scenes. We're going to leave you alone. I know who you are. I picked up on you a few times in my reads. Do your thing. I don't, I don't got time to be fooling around bringing attention to you so they can come for you um but the dark worker there's some type of dark worker that's been working with baby you're gonna have to move on because you don't put yourself in some type of situation you stand to lose everything you you're about to get sick you're about to be out here just uh, just destitute honey you're about to lose everything all these astral projections you've been doing is about to backfire on you horribly what she does is astral projects into people's energies, their dreams, and then she tells the people that she's working with to wait. It's not the right time yet. I'll let you know when it's the right time for you to wait, take action so you can give them this offer, uh, make it seem like you're wanting to work with them, and then you can uh, 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 declare war on them or something like that. Like this lady or this man, whoever it is, they're heartless. They don't care. Someone's very malicious, very greedy, very jealous. Uh, just really wicked minded is what I picked up on in the dream. Okay. Um, the, yeah, there's a practitioner working with a community behind the scenes plotting on how to take an emperor out. Oh my goodness. Cause the emperor said, he said he's still looking, he's still moving. Okay. He's still looking to his future. I think they've been doing a lot behind the scenes to block this man's forward movement. They said, we're going to take him out. I think I mentioned this before. There's a man in a community or in a family. They're collaborating against you to take you out. These people are working very hard behind the scenes on how they can take you out. Be careful what it is that you drink. Be careful what it is that you're eating. Do not take anything from these people. This has come up in my reading before where they're plotting to take someone out because they, they may be trying to poison you or something like that. Do not take any food from these people. If you've been partying with them or something, you need to stop partying because that's the reason why they're having you overindulge in your low vibrational desires. Okay? They're having you overdo it. That's to keep you distracted. And now that you've decided to take charge of your life, 
heal and things like that because this is what i see here you healing right you started off right here in the read this time you've made the choice to heal behind closed doors and things like that and they've seen you go through the changes right they've seen you go through the changes and they don't want you doing that there's also there's also another man behind the scenes who's going through karma i don't know if you even want to focus on you you're going to have to figure something out with your life but there are two emperors behind the scenes one is about to be going through some type of financial like um and he's living in fear the fact that people know what it is he's been doing uh he's very much afraid behind the scenes that he stands to lose everything but then there's another one who you need to throw with caution because there are people plotting against you to take you out like to take you out of here uh, because they said the manipulation has not been working they've been lying to you a long time about something you could have even went to, because i said the hermit you could have even went to someone for advice, maybe someone older in your family, and maybe they discouraged you for something you were trying to do. Yeah, you went to some someone for advice, and you thought they were going to give you some type of good advice or something, and it turns out they're trying to talk you out of your dreams or out of your desires as far as being healed and being with someone who you see as a healer. They're telling you that someone is more than likely... uh just putting on a show, uh, they're gaslighting you, playing with you, or something like that. Like, you shouldn't take that person serious. Uh, they're misleading you, or they're selling you a picture or something, selling you a dream with the star out here. And then this being here in the reverse, the page of source in the reverse, they're telling you that someone is selling you a dream, that they're not really who it is they say they are. They're not lawyer, they're not wise knowing, they're not uh they're not any of the things they're presenting themselves to be. It could be a lot of gossiping going on. Um it's just a little bit I don't know what the heck this is. I I don't know what this is. Someone is very like defensive behind the scenes because the truth is out. They may want to also have someone go from this energy to this energy where you're like being very defensive, having to defend yourself all the time, caring a little bit too much about things that don't matter. I don't think someone gives two Fs about what's going on. I'm telling you, later on, someone is way too healed for the BS. They're more, f I'm telling you, someone is more focused on things that matter to them. They're, ca they're calling because someone's, someone already knows what it is these people are planning, what they're plotting, the actions they're taking, and they're still moving forward in victory. Like someone has mastered themselves and they're moving forward in victory. Whatever gossiping and whatever nonsense you all are doing behind the scenes is not working. I think they're trying to figure out on how they can block this ace of pentacles from coming towards you. They're going to be sending someone towards you. To deceive you is that would send this person in as their lover. So it could, it could be that for some of you, whoever you end up with is is your ten of pentacles, and you you are their ten of pentacles. So that union is going to be very abundant. So that may be why these people are collaborating together, hiring practitioners and things like that to cause some type of separation between the two of you. Um, but it's not gonna work. If it's meant to be, it's gonna take place. Okay, it's going to take place. Uh, this emperor, instead of him sitting around and watching you now, someone is going to be taking action, whoever this is. Okay, because there's something where it's like he knows he needs to be aware of the people around him. He needs to be alert, especially of a queen of swords and a queen of wands. You need to be very alert. There's something where both of those women are under some type of judgment by the spirit realm. Their ancestors are not supporting them or working with them anymore. So I don't, I'm telling you, not working with them. All of the plans, they be everything. <laughs> it's like they're there plenty and they can't figure something out. They're confused on how it is you're still receiving what it is that's yours. Uh, they may be trying to bring you legal issues and things like that. There's something that's been coming up a lot. Where is that someone wants to come towards you with problems? And this is because they want you to feel unsafe, okay? They want you to feel mentally unstable. They want you to feel like something is wrong or you've done something wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong but invest in yourself. 
your time, your future. Um, and you know that and they know that, but someone has martyred himself behind the scenes. There's some type of prophecy that's playing out. Uh, I don't even think someone knew that a lot of them were being tested in some type of situation and they went all out. Um, and now that they're having to have some type of new perspective on a situation is bothering them. Um, but this man cares a little bit too much about some nonsense, whoever the emperor in reverse is. So he may be taking some type of action to come in and tell you how uh you're getting you're getting being arrested or something like that so they're plenty on coming into your energy physically to do you something and it's gonna backfire there was someone a guy in a car accident on their way to somebody yeah he's afraid because he knows and he knows there's somebody that was on their way to yeah <laughs> There is somebody that was on their way to do something to an earth angel and they got in a car accident. Somebody's car got towed away. Someone may be locked up. Someone may not be doing well and they're locked up. Even maybe they're mental. Someone is absolutely locked up. Maybe they're waiting for someone to come and get them out of jail or something. They're sitting in there crying, heartbroken. He ain't coming to get you out of there, honey. There's a woman of high honor that's locked up. Oh, yeah. With this chariot, eight of swords, nine of pentacles, sister is locked up. Can't pretend to be wholesome anymore. All she can do is wait <laughs> to hear from the group. <laughs> they just sent the spell. Where did I order before? <laughs> You know, she's working with a practitioner and she don't even know what, what, what the heck is going on with the practitioner. Girl, I, I'll tell you what's going on with the practitioner, but it ain't what you think. <laughs> I know that ain't what you're doing out here. You got hired to do your job. <laughs> I cannot. That practitioner must be sick and tired. Damn, well, that backfired real bad. Damn, I don't even know if I should say this, because then they may, they may catch on to you what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Dang, that's what you're doing out here. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny right there. That's funny right there. Uh, instead of paying a practitioner, you need to go find a lawyer. You're going to need a lawyer. This whole community, institution, the emperor in the reverse, everybody is going to need a lawyer. Uh-huh. They're all working together on how they can keep something from someone, block someone from receiving what's theirs, control someone's life, and they're all going through financial life but still trying to stand their ground. They've been trying to block someone from being seen on social media and things like that or at work, whatever this is, trying to temper with your energy, your mental and all of that, but you're still standing your ground and it's bothering these people. While they're trying to control your resources, keep things from you that belong to you, they're going through the same thing. They're going through the same thing. There's a lot of money on the line. They're still out here invading your privacy. It's upset because you have options coming in that's going to lead to new beginnings. And you're going to move forward brave hearted with all of your tenacity and strength to achieve this. What? Ten of Pentacles, baby. It's an offer coming in to you. Now, I'm not going to tell you when this offer is coming in. I mean, these people are going out and getting readings. That's all they do. The, the, getting readings is part of the budget at this point. They hire a whole expert just to do them readings. <laughs> Woo! They're hoping this is the one. This is the practitioner that can get the job done. Oh, baby, these two you are trying to stop from meeting. Let me break your hearts a little bit. Well, not break your heart. Let me give you guys hope. For a little bit there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Coming together. Ah! <laughs> and they're going to be loyal to each other. Uh-uh. Is somebody still paying? Listen, there's someone paying behind the scenes for a tower, for an ending in someone's life. Because they are afraid of two people coming together and getting married. This will be the, 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 the queen of wands that's behind bars still paying. 
said, she said, I got money like that. You do you? Do you, Sally? Do you? You're about to find out. She said, I need you to still astral project into their dreams. Go into their dreams and drain their energy. Take all of their downloads. Don't let them receive anything. I don't know who's doing the download stealing, but I don't think it's working because these practitioners are still getting their readings. <laughs> you didn't see them miss a day, did you? <laughs> If they miss a day, it's just because they took a day off. It's not because you did anything that worked. <laughs> no, they're just taking a day off. They're just taking a day off. <laughs> it's a, did you, did you, did you send that that spell that I order? Did you send the sickness spell that I order? Are they crying? He said, "Uh, no, they're not crying. You're gonna have to move on." Because this person is still out here celebrating, okay? Celebrating. Is the King of Wands plotting something? I don't know about this man. He confuses me every time he shows up in my read because that's someone that's not unsure of, that's not sure of himself, okay? You got a King of Wands trying to figure out how to approach you because you know a little bit too much. It's a God dang, this heifer don't miss nothing. I can't even go in and deceive. How am I going to go in and lie to this person? I wonder if he's the one that's been hired to come towards you. Oh, yeah. It's somebody in the upright in the court system. A whole police officer, FBI, PI, whatever this is. Maybe he's in the upright. And he said he's moving on to have a victory. And it ain't nothing a god dang person can do about it. <laughs> I like his energy. That's a vibe to have. That's a vibe to have. He said, I don't give two else what anybody feels about what I'm doing. I got a mind of my own, and I've decided what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm doing. Now I'm out of here. Sign era. Oh, and he's going to be victorious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to be victorious. Oh, sorry. Good luck to you. Kudos to you for taking charge of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dang, but that sucker said, I don't get two Fs. What they think about what I'm doing, Clarity? <laughs> Truthfully, people are worried and they're burdened and crying behind the scenes. Confused. Some of them feel sick all of a sudden because this man is moving on. No, if he gets with her, she's going to be protected. He's going to be protected. If he gets with him... He's going to be protected. We can't do this to him or her anymore. Exactly. <clears throat> that would be the reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're about to be out here disappointed. Out in the cold, disappointed, having to cut their losses and move on. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a woman crying behind the scenes because she lost a love. I don't know if she was taking a man for granted for years and he's finally fed up. He said, you know what, Dizzy Bell? <laughs> I don't know if she's a juicy bill. I just use that term to describe karmic women and men. You know what, juicy bill? I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to work it out anymore. Okay? Dang. Focus on the present. What do you have going on right now? Focus on that. You don't got nothing going on without me? Oh, I can't help you then. Okay, but whoever I'm going to, they know how to focus on the present. <laughs> Let him go again. Oh, yeah, that man's working real hard. Yeah, to come in and give an offer to a Queen of Cups. And it, there's something I don't even know. Listen, I don't want to touch. This had to be quiet. Let me leave that alone. This practitioner is going for it, but they're gonna have to, you're going to have to move on. If you're a dark practitioner that was hired to end someone, send some type of ending spells to people, you're going to have to move on because it ain't going to end well for you, okay? You may want to be careful before you pass away. There's a lot of death that's been passing on. I saw Innovation. I don't know who this, I don't know if this is a couple that drives like a, there's a two lime green sports car driving one behind the other. Behind that, there was some type of motorcycle I don't know if there's a celebrity that's involved in something. 
I don't know what this is. Or maybe there's a celebrity that's interested in someone that they're watching. Whatever this is. It can't be that because it was one. It was two lime greens. One in the front, one in the back. So this could be like a couple or something. Or I don't know what it is. But whatever you've been invested in. Like, listen, listen. Like, the source is all over this. Someone is about to pass on. This practitioner, honey, I don't know what you've been doing out here trying to prove your might. Feeling, feeling like you're, uh, you, you know more than God. You're all powerful. God said, I'm gonna show you who, who's powerful. You forgot who's, whose playground this is. Oh, okay. There's some type of karma playing out, cause I had some type of vision, uh, honey. I've been having these visions like back to back. At this point, the spirit realm is just like, hey, heifer, sit down. We got something to tell you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I'm here. I saw a hand going this way. Now, you know the Wheel of Fortune, it typically goes this way. But if it's going this way, then that means there's some type of bad karma that's balancing out. Regardless of which direction the Wheel of Fortune moves in, things are still being balanced out. So if it's, if it's moving in the forward direction, the clockwise direction, that means that there's some type of good karma being balanced out for a light worker. If it's moving in the reverse the counterclockwise direction then that means that someone is receiving some type of bad karma something is being balanced out still so the fact that i saw it going this way means that there are people behind the scenes these people that are going through some type of karma and yesterday i was doing something i think online and like the word karma kept popping up karma 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 i said god dang it's like that source. It's like, yeah, it's like that. We're tired. We got other things to be worried about. We don't tell these people to sit down and they still won't sit down. So yeah, they said we told them to sit down so they won't sit down. So we're forcing them to sit down. Okay. Yeah. I told you they're trying to plot on how they can trap a queen of cups. They don't want you moving on, but you're moving on, honey. You're moving on. They're trying to figure out. This is why they've hired a new practitioner. They're hoping this practitioner has the right idea, can come up with a plan on how to trap you, confuse you, temper with your energy, okay? It ain't going to work. You're a queen of cups. That, that means that you have a direct connection to source. You're someone that's emotionally balanced and everything. So before they even do something, the universe is revealing it to you. Also, there's a queen of cups within the community, honey. You're about to be locked up. You know it too. You but oh girl, you do. You know it. You know someone is leaving you for a whole empress energy to give them for oh girl to have ultimate fulfillment, be happy and content in life. Honey, I don't know what to tell you, but it's the end of the road of your shenanigans, all the mental games. Cause this is this is a queen of cups, the one in the reverse in this karmic community, the probably one of the ones that was the head of the grab your pitchforks, uh, uh clan crowd. This is someone that plays mental games. They play with people's emotions. They don't really give two Fs about you, but they don't mind pretending like they do so you can keep giving them their lajan. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's one of them. Yeah, she, she knows exactly what she's doing when she's causing you confusion, still mixing, things like that. It's all a mental game for her. It's all fun and game. Like, this woman don't care. She'll use her words, everything. She don't care. You, go, you all are going to need lawyers. It's what I keep being told to tell you. You're going to need a lawyer. I don't know if you all have a whole oath. I think you do. With that three of pentacles out here, you all got together. You came up with an oath that said we will not disclose what it is we've been doing. We'll act like we don't know anything they ask us. You all think you're so connected that you can get away with what you've been doing. You're about to find out it's not so because the universe is about to have you all out here looking like a bunch of clowns. Okay? It's not so. You're not getting away with it. You don't know you've been being recorded, monitored, everything. The whole group being monitored. Yeah, the whole group is going through sorrows. Sorrows, sorrows, sorrows. Dang, unhappy. Unhappy because someone is still having their new beginning, still going to be content in life. Two people will still be meeting and balancing sucker, this sucker out. Two people of high honor, integrity. Yeah, someone in the court system thinks very highly of you. They like your energy. You're very healing. You have a very nostalgic. The, there's a man I had a dream about. He connected with a woman. He may be like a, uh, 
I don't even know how to put this, but someone that has like a legal energy to them, but he's like, <sighs> there's something like very like wholesome about him. And I don't know if that's something he's been working on behind the scenes, his healing and things like that. But he's very fond of someone that either he watches or worked with or something like that. Uh, someone is very nostalgic about you. But I just remember in the dream, like he didn't want to be away from you anywhere you went or anywhere he went. He wanted you to be with him. It, it was very nostalgic. It's like these two, they were so like close knit. Like, you know, people that don't care for love, it will make them feel disgusted. It will be like, why are they always together? Oh my gosh, why are they holding hands? Oh my gosh, they're they go kissing. But it's like he's just, he's just so fond of whoever this is. Like, he wants to be wherever she is. Wherever he is, She he wants her there. It's like, you know, when you see some of those grandma and grandpa's relationship where they're always together and they just seem so at peace and just happy, fulfilled in life. They don't have to have the the uh, best of the best in the world, but you can just tell that they genuinely love each other. I saw two people like that in my dreams, a man and a woman, and they were just so happy together. You Like the feeling that I got between the two of them, it was just like, yeah, we've been doing this for many lifetimes every lifetime we incarnate we find each other and we do this all over again and i think the uh i think the uh purpose one of the purpose of their union is to find each other each lifetime now i don't know if they are actual twin flames not that it matters i just know that they really loved each other in the dream um but you could tell that they had incarnated before so it could be that king of swords, and I think this means in the legal system. It could be that king of swords that is, yeah, there's something very nostalgic about like a couple, especially from, especially from the man's, yeah, it's the king of swords. Sir, what, what you doing out here? What you doing out here? Yeah, he's made a decision. He said he knows what he wants. He knows what he wants. He got, oh, baby. Yeah, he got a whole lot of emotions for someone. Girl, who are you? Don't be out here disappointing this man now. He got too much emotions uh, for you. Too much. Oh, girl. 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 Don't be out here disappointing this man now. He got a whole lot of emotions for you. But, yeah, just pay attention. But someone's very nostalgic about a feminine energy. It's like they were just inseparable. I'm like, what? what? Can she go out to the bathroom by herself, sir? He said, no, I want to be with her. I don't want to miss a beep. <laughs> He's afraid to miss a thing. Anyway, the whole community, they're living in fear. He said, oh, oh yeah, this is what, you want to know what they're afraid of? Someone having wish fulfillment by connecting with their partner higher level soulmate this could be in work you know just because they said higher level soulmate or partner doesn't always mean it's love maybe it's just someone you're supposed to come together with and be successful with in business so i don't know why people get their pennies up in a bunch as soon as you say soulmate oh uh, you know we have we have our soulmates you know soul twins the ones that we separate, the one that we separate from source with at the same time. And then we have soul companions. Okay. Soul associates. Sometimes things don't work out with your soul mate or your soul twins. And one of your soul companion, they'll kick in. They'll step up to the plate to, you know, fulfill that part of your contract, the love aspect of your contract. Um, because you're in the spirit realm, you're in a friendship group. And sometimes, you know, what the consoles do, they'll assign that person or one of those people as your lover in this lifetime. Because more than likely, your twin flame, when they come here, they ain't going to do what it is they're supposed to do. They're going to disappoint you. So one of your soul companions in the spirit realm, they'll make a contract with you in case of that situation happening. They'll be your soulmate this lifetime. Okay. And it's an agreement that you all make. It's an agreement, okay? It's an agreement. What is this behind this? Yeah. Whatever direction you're about to take in life is going to be very fruitful for you. 
I'm going to hurry up and get out of here. Let me see. It's not always you say soulmate and that means they're going to be in love or something. Okay? And I just heard intellectual property. Someone has been stealing intellectual properties out here. Okay? Someone has been stealing. Yeah. The actual person of high honor is the one that's the choice. And the one that's false, the fake one, is somewhere pissed off. Nobody cares. Because two people are still coming together to work together. Yeah, things are being balanced out. They could be, this came out sideways. Whatever these people are plotting is to temper with some type of balance being brought in a situation. It's going to backfire on them. They're about to be going through some type of horrible karma. Or they could be going through karma right now. Um, and it's not looking real pretty. Things that they had time to do before, they probably don't have time to do it anymore as far as stalking you. Maybe people used to drive by trying to make you feel uneasy. They wanted you to know that they knew where you, where they, they, they wanted you to know that they knew where you live, where you were, where you go, and all of that. Maybe they don't have time to do that anymore because karma is on that behind. The universe has these people on full display that anywhere you go, we will follow. <laughs> in the daytime, in the dark, we will follow. Okay, the family, everybody, your ancestors said they don't care how young or old, we're going to follow. Okay, everywhere, everywhere. It said two people coming together is causing some type of heartbreak. For who? For who? There's a whole community upset because someone is going to balance something out. I mean, people, I mean, if they have a contract together, let them be together. This is what the ancestors have decided. What do you want us to tell you? Why are you just invested in two people being together? Let them be. Go find you something to do. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you not have something to do? Dang. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Damn. Yeah, you got a lot of emotions for someone, but he's in the reverse out here. Going through it. You're going to be out here taking from someone, but you want to come in and give them a love offer. Where? Where? Huh? Oh, yeah. Karma is playing out for this man. Damn. The, the, the universe ain't playing out here. Karma is playing out for someone. You see that right there? The universe that F your feelings. We don't care about your feelings. We're balancing this stuff out. Okay? You fail to be practical. This is a king of cups too. Very greedy. Maybe he presents himself to be a king of pentacles. That's why it's coming out. And they're doing something to his finances. He's losing everything, which is why he's out here with that four of pentacles. He's losing everything. They say you want to be out here being reckless, plotting people's endings. Look at you going through karma. Look at you going through karma. You got time to argue? No, you don't want to argue. You don't want to argue. We told you we don't want to argue with you. You mad. We don't want to be mad with you. That's your business. Leave us alone. <laughs> that will be the truth. It's the end of all this madness. It's the end of their growth, their abundance that you didn't deserve. That's why the King of Pentacles is in the reverse under you. Okay, it's the end of you receiving whatever it is you were receiving. Ill just, ill what? Illegally, unjustly. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So you were just out here doing any and everything. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, things are being balanced out. Baron, Baron, Baron. Listen, things are being balanced out for the Earth Angels. Okay, and their families. Okay, uh huh. Yeah. Listen, Mr. King of Swords, if you don't want me talking about you, we're gonna need you to stop popping out. Okay, but this King of Cups here. Losing finances, someone's very greedy, and the very thing he's obsessed with the most is what they're taking away from him, his money. Probably been out here stealing for a long time. This is the kind of person that will sit back and wait for the right time to attack people, steal from people. The community he's been working with, he's been stealing from them too. They don't know. But this is a thief, a greedy person, someone impractical. It's money above everyone else. He don't care who he got to steal from to get what it is that he wants or what he needs. This is someone very materialistic, selfish as can be. The only thing is 
he has all this desire for wealth, success, and money, but he's lazy as can be. Someone's very lazy, does not like to do the work, likes to take shortcuts to get what it is that he needs to get. Now you're going to need a lawyer. You're going to need to be practical and walk away because maybe the truth is going to keep coming out and out and out and out. I don't know what to tell you. Don't be out here taking no reckless uh, action now against an empress. It's going to backfire. What is this last card? Well, clarity on this four of pentacles, please, because these people are getting on my nerves again. I'm just sick of this mess. I'm just sick of this mess. I guess it's our job right now to keep up to date on what this group is doing. So I'm going to do my job and not complain. Source said, source, uh, said not to complain. Sorry, sir. Ma'am, it, I will not complain. Look at that. You got court, court issues coming in. <laughs> There's a greedy institution out here going through financial. Like, this institution is about to fall from grace. About to be shut down. It's the end. Yeah, you martyr yourselves. It's a prophecy coming through. It's the end of the road. Oh my gosh. It's the end of the road. Yeah, things are being balanced out for a greedy institution that don't know when to stop stealing, blocking, destroying. These are people that look down on other people. They'll, you know, they'll judge people for what they are. So if they're on the DL, they'll come out trying to talk about other people they think are on the DL. Whole time they are the ones on the DL. If they are broke, they'll talk about people that are actually broke, or they talk about people that actually put in the work for what it is that they want in life. Meanwhile, they're having to cheat, steal, destroy, to have things, money, and they have the audacity to fix their mouths to talk about other people. You can't make this stuff up. These are people that will judge other people based off of their skin, their uh, hair, everything, where they live, the clothes they wear, what car in a car, they drive, superficial stuff that don't matter at all, never will. But, you know, if you've been in a specific kind of community for a long time, that's all you know, you really think you're doing something where you're judging people that don't know you and don't really care. You're stuck in your mind. They're not stuck in their mind. They don't know you. They already know the truth about life. Okay, you don't. You, 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 you don't know it yet. That's why you're out martyring yourself. Even though source is telling you to separate yourself from a toxic group of people, you think you're in La La Land or something. You're in the, 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 the right community. This is a greedy community. Uh, there could be someone out here that pretends to be a higher fan with this King of Pentacles reverse coming before him. This is someone that's pretending to be a higher fan out here. Finances going down the drain, all because of what they did to you. It's like everybody that was involved in something has been involved in something, is involved in something. The universe is hitting one karmic at a time. Bloop, 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 bloop. Any, mini, money, mo. Who will we tag today? You. Okay. Finances, everything. Everything, everything. There could be a, 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 so I'm just doing like little recaps on here. There could be a, a, a emperor that feels trapped within an institution. Like he doesn't want to be there anymore, but I don't know if he like signed some type of a uh, contract with these people some time ago and he feels trapped with them and he wants to be free. Uh, sir, may uh, things go according to the universe's plans so that all can be balanced out for you and everybody else okay okay anyways uh, in um okay so in the past there was a group working with a king of cups to have something go in his way they were trying to make sure something goes to him. Whether it was money, a contract, an inheritance that didn't belong to him. They were working real hard to have him keep something that don't belong to him. It's all backfiring. The universe said, nope, we're going to expose you for exactly what you are. Lazy, unkept, greedy, selfish, okay, incompetent as can be. Anyways, you know that's their fancy words they be using to describe us. She's incompetent. He's incompetent. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, they've been working real hard. Just waiting for the right time. They're going to try to send you some type of King of Pentacles that, oh, that's who it is in the dream. They're going to send you some type of King of Pentacles that is not stable 
at all. Not mentally, not emotionally, not financially. This is just someone that's very greedy and feels entitled to what it is that belongs to other people don't like the work either. So I see why. Birds of a feather flock together. They all are the same. So they think if they wait just the right time for him to connect with you, he's going to be able to have victory with you. It's a no go. That man's going to be taken out before he can even make it to that star. See, so if I was you, king of pentacles in the reverse. You may want to sit your behind somewhere else. Okay, you may want to stay somewhere else. Anyways, collective, the universe wants you to know they are balancing. They have plans for you. In due time, they are balancing things out. You don't got nothing to worry about. Okay, they may have been plotting against you, but things are being balanced out for you. The fact that you are an actual empress energy and actually the person of high honor. Oh, yeah, things they were plotting against you before and the universe is balancing it out today, tomorrow and any other day. These people are in a long period of karma. Hey, anyways, back to the recap. Anyways, they were working with a practitioner in the recent past in the recent past uh, to have you trapped confused mentally uh, you know there's something where practitioners dark practitioners their number one uh, ritual magic whatever they go to is conflict magic they want you to be confused they don't want you to know who's doing what they don't want you to feel at peace they don't want you to be relaxed or anything like that because then that makes it easier for the rest of the Things they're doing to come on in and hit you. They want to hit you with their best shot. So they'll hit you with conflict. So you're confused all over the place. And now they can come in. Or now they can send a demonic entity in to attach itself to you. There's something that they've been trying to do to a star seed, a sentient master that's not been working. It's like they're sending these monitoring spirits. The monitoring spirits don't want to be around you because you're too positive. You're too kind-hearted. Uh, you may have your movements and then you you right back again they're also like okay what the heck is going on they're not supposed to be healing at that rate we need to figure something out but that's what they usually do is conflict magic is what they turn to first because now when you're confused all over the place don't have control of your mind or your heart you're going to believe anything you're going to be afraid and now they can come in they have the ample opportunity to come in either send an entity in to attach itself to you or other types of negative energies can come in and keep you in that mindset. But you've chosen, you chose to move on. Okay? You chose to move on. Baby, you're moving for Baby, I'm telling you. You're someone that heals very fast. And they don't like that. It's like they do something right now. And maybe it may you may have to figure out, like, what the heck is going on? Why am I feeling uneasy all of a sudden? And then you'll be like, oh, that's not my energy. And then the universe takes that away or they transmute it into something positive. And then you move on with your life and back to dreaming, back to focusing on the things that matter to you. Honey, it is what it is. You're moving on. They're moving on. They don't want to. Everybody got to. You're standing your ground. It's like, we don't care what it is. You're, you can gossip all you want. But when you're done gossiping, I don't know what that was. A gnat, whatever it was, it's not here anymore. It ascended. Anyways, um, whatever kind of gossiping they've been doing, it's just not working. They're going to have to move on. All the old, these people don't know what they're talking about. These people don't know anything. They're this lawyer. Everybody is this lawyer, but the one false person <laughs> or the false community. And... While they're going through all this karma, they're about to sit down and watch you connect with the people you're supposed to, connect with your soul tribe, other institutions, people, places, and things, and you're about to ascend to a level that's unmatched. Okay, people? Anyways, hmm. Yeah, there's a higher fan here is going through something. There's a higher fan that's going through financial, like there's a, I don't know if this is a pastor or just the head of a community, but there's something that they're going through. I don't know, they're either keeping a pastor from telling the truth or, they, no, this, there's too many negative cars around, there's two negative cars around him. This is someone that's greedy. This is, he's going through financial like. He may have taken something from someone before and it's been taken from him as well. He's stuck. He's stuck in some type of 
there's a karmic instant uh, honey i can't there's a karmic institution here that's just going through it it's the end of the road i don't know what to tell them but whatever eight of pentacles ten of pentacles energy they were in before it's not that no more it's not that i remember i did a read and this these two cards came out the same together it was the higher fin and the king of pentacles reverse now it's the king of pentacles reverse and the higher fin so this is a false religious person that's financially motivated and i've picked up on them before but it's like he's like this king of cups whatever he's losing is what's dear to him the most it's the money and he's losing that he can't have it no more pretending N nothing nothing there there is a king of cups in here that's in the upright in a family i'm gonna skip him like i don't i don't be trying to bring attention to the uh people that are in the upright because the moment you do that people start attacking them and things like that but this higher fin here this is a false religious person this is someone very greedy lazy someone serves two masters or many masters if it brings them money if serving uh j-e-s-u-s -S brings him money he's gonna do it it's serving the d-e-v-i-l he's gonna do it too he don't care he's a he's equal opportunity okay he's a he's a, a, a religious person of equal opportunity he's ready to serve anytime anywhere any place <laughs> anyways anyway because you know our religion they have their own ways of serving the deities or entities they believe in whether it be christians uh whether it be islamic people jainism baha'i whichever one he said i'll be that you got money if you ain't talking money you can't be talking to me that's what he said that's what he said okay and anyways Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.